This video is part 2 to my Killing Floor 2 guide regarding the Incinerate and Detonate content pack. If you're a beginner at Killing Floor, I highly recommend you watch part 1 first. It's like a pyromaniac's dream. Killing Floor 2 just saw its first major content patch, containing two new maps, two new classes, and ten new weapons if you count the class-specific grenades and knives. All this new content can be a little intimidating, but I'm back to show you some new tips and tricks that I've come up with for those of you who are struggling with the new classes. The number one thing to remember, enemy grouping is key for both of these classes. This makes circle strafing a valuable tool when you want to corral a group of Zeds into a tight cluster. Number two thing to remember, buttstock melees to the head are insanely useful for these two classes in particular. If you remember from my last video, most weapons buttstock melees can decapitate clots, gore fast, crawlers, and stalkers. So when you see a single one of these, forcibly deliver the butt or barrel of your gun directly to their face. It saves you ammo and it's crazy satisfying. That's all for general stuff, next I'm going to go over class specifics. First up is the demo. Your new starting weapon is a grenade pistol that fires a scatter shot of explosive pellets. This is your bread and butter. If you use this at point blank against a weak Zed, it'll almost certainly die, but primarily you want to keep an eye out for two or more Zeds that are right next to each other. There's a small lethal sphere of damage that's about the size of a beach ball, and you can sometimes fit three or more Zeds in that blast radius. With any lonesome weak targets, you can just action hero punch them in the face with your Terminator-like strength. The same two rules apply for all of the demo's launchers, only with different blast radiuses. Radiuses? Radii? Just choose accordingly to fit the size of the group and remember to melee lone targets. As you know, siren screams disable explosives and bloats resist explosive and blunt force damage. Use your pistol or some other off-perk weapon for bloats, and with sirens, you can just time your shots so they don't get caught in the screen. Just watch out for the later waves, because sirens will group up with each other sometimes alongside scrakes and flesh pounds. So make sure that your buddies are close. Alright, firebug time. Out of all of the classes, I think that this one gets the award for biggest improvement over the last game. Mainly because of the microwave cannon. It blows up Zeds like giant walking blisters and then they explode into a glorious red mist. Man, I bet this looks even cooler with flex turned on. Like I said before, this one is about grouping. You're not necessarily the last hit guy. A firebug is the ultimate trash man, and all its weapons are about maximum coverage and sheer damage by volume. The more targets on fire, the better. Burn everything. Let it all burn. Burn them all. Your hard counters are husks who take decreased heat damage, and to some degree large zeds who can just tank the flames. They are, however, effective against Sirens, which makes these two new classes very good buddies. To review, look for groups, burn and or explode them, punch dudes in the face, watch for your hard counters, and most importantly, have fun. Otherwise, like, what? what's even the point? Have fun, guys.